Well, hello, hello, General Hospital Daily Recap fans. Today's Daily Recap is for Monday, August the 28th, 2023. Monday, August the 28th. Boring show today. Boring show today. Let me talk about the boring, boring stuff. Elizabeth and Finn meet on the rooftop once again, talk about Gregory. Greg, she tells him Gregory told her, blah, blah, blah. She's what says she's going to support him. Anna talks to Robert. She wants his help to prove, you know, is Valentine working for Pikeman now or not? Robert wants to give her a hard time. And she says, I, I don't need this from you. I just need help. Blah, 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 blah. We have Lucy and Martin. She throws a drink on Martin. You know, and ends up saying she knows about ex-wife number three and the alimony. And that's why he didn't want to get married. And he says, no, I didn't want to get married because you said you didn't want to get married. And he repeated her whole spiel to him. And she goes, I was using reverse psychology. You were supposed to now want to get married and insist on it and sweep me off my feet like an officer and a gentleman. He goes, I never watched that movie. <laughs> And so he goes, wait a minute. How did you find out about wife, my ex-wife number three and how much my alimony is? I never leave those papers laying around. So she goes, we went to Pine Valley. And we, I met Jackson Montgomery and we got to look at his files without his permission. And he goes, you could have been arrested. She goes, that's not the point. Oh, really? And then she goes, the point is you lied to me. He goes, no, I never lied to you. Lucy, well, you did not tell me that you're making this kind of money every month and that money you uh, put over our relationship. He says, no. She goes, then get stopped and then, then, then call ex-wife number three and stop the alimony. Tell her you don't want it anymore. And he just, he goes, that's a lot of money. And you really want me to give that up? And so she goes, well, I don't know because the hearing is tomorrow which is good for the deception. And you know, that was my project. I thought it up with you with you and I, with your help. And he goes, well, I saw you. He's, you know, he's still like, oh, uh -uh, don't bring me in. So good. Court tomorrow. Let's see, we get to see fine Jackson Montgomery again, even though tomorrow could be Friday in General Hospital land, right? So... Um, Valentine's something he's got Martin doing because he kind of beckoned for Martin to meet him in out in the outer area, which he did. Left Lucy sitting there, yeah, 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 yeah. And he uh said, Did you get it done? Why haven't you got it done? Get it done right now. So we don't know what it is, but Martin is involved with it, right? So he goes back to Lucy, and yeah, I fast forwarded the because I can't stand Lucy, that's why you don't see any pictures right? Then we also have Christina going to see Alexis to explain why she didn't come up to her, you know, at the pool. Well, she goes, I figured that must be the surrogate, was it? And Alexis says, yes. And she goes, well, how was it? How is she? She goes, I kind of like her, but how much do you know a person for an hour meeting? But she seems really nice. She looks like that's going to work out. Well, I'm really happy for malls. I really am. I mean, I hope everything works out. I really do know when you got to keep saying all that, you really, really don't. But she just wanted some information. Well, I wanted you to know why I didn't come out there. I didn't want to interrupt because I interrupt when they were me meeting with the agency. So I, did, I didn't want to. And so Alexis says, well, that was a good idea. Good idea on your part, right? She couldn't get too much out of Alexis. Alexis didn't act like she's holding back information, but she was a matter of fact. Yeah, she's nice. We like her. Molly and TJ like her. Whatever. So Gregory comes in and Christina leaves and he's talking to Alexis saying he doesn't know how much longer he's going to be able to work. Things are progressing, yada, yada, yada. You know, and then they talk their friends. They end up hugging his friends at the end, which was kind of cute. Um, we had, let's see, Stella, no, 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 Trina goes to see Jocelyn, Jocelyn's helping Carly at Kelly's, she goes to see Jocelyn, they're talking, oh, Portia and Curtis's problems are all her fault, 
And Jocelyn's like, how do you figure that? But when I first had her found out what my mother did, I didn't want to have nothing to do with Curtis, nor did I want to have anything to do with her. And yet, so Jocelyn finally talked to her. She's like, that is Katrina, that's not your fault. I mean, you have nothing to do with that. And so she's like, well, I feel it's my responsibility to help try to get them to get it. And Jocelyn was like, well, that's not your responsibility either. And I'm thinking, okay, so why is it Trina feels it's her responsibility? Hmm, let me guess. Trina, Trina, Trina. I don't want to. I don't want to dump all this on you, Trina. I don't want to. But Curtis, yeah, he hasn't come home. Curtis, I haven't talked to Curtis. I don't know what Curtis got to, Trina. And but her own mother is dumping problems on Trina like she's her best friend, and she's not. She's your child, chick. That's between you and Curtis. You're married. You shouldn't be dumping that on on Trina. And before Trina came, because Trina left Jocelyn, went to Portia. Before Trina got there, Marsha went in. And it was the same broken record. I don't know what Curtis is going to do. I don't know if Curtis is going to come home. Oh, Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. I don't know. I don't, I, fast forward, fast forward. Period. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to hear it. Portia. Right? So now we get Aunt Stella. She goes to see Curtis and, oh, he's just working himself. I'm surprised he ain't working himself into a heart attack, pulling some muscles. And she's like, do, does your therapist know you in here working out like this? And he goes, I go home tomorrow. You know, I, I he's taught me all and he can teach me. I am determined to get strong and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you need to talk to your therapist. And she may be talking about physical, mental therapist versus uh physical because he she goes you need to come to terms with what's happened to you Curtis so you can start to embrace the life you have or the, and, and and let's you know build on your strengths that you have and oh she gave him a good talking to because all my strengths were with me being able to walk that's all the strengths I have I'm really nothing without it and she's like Curtis Ashford that is not it we gotta look inside and bottom line Whatever your new reality is going to be, it has, does not change how much we love you. We are your family. So he ended up listening to her and he had already made up his mind. He goes, Portia already uh, put rails and retrofitted the house. And so she goes, good. Does Portia know you're, you're getting released? He goes, I haven't told her. And I'm thinking, see, you're getting released tomorrow. You already made up your mind. You're going back to the house but you don't even have the common courtesy to tell Portia. Curtis. But I bet you tell Jordan. So he does call her and, and Trina's in the office with her. It's, oh, she's so happy he's coming home. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, Curtis, Curtis. Oh, goodness gracious. I was done with that. Um, just nothing really moved forward. Then Carly... Ask Diane to come on over to see her. And she's telling Diane that she wants Diane to take Drew's case to get his sentence re reduced. And Diane says, look, Carly, this didn't never went to trial. So it's not like I can over look up something, how the judge acted biased, the judge this, the judge that. We didn't even go to trial. Drew pled guilty. And it was up to the judge to do whatever sentence he wants. And so Cardi says, yeah, but can't you look into this judge and see? Has he given a lot of unusually long sentences? She goes, well, I could look into that, but it's, it's like a needle in a haystack. And she's like, can't you get this reassigned to another judge? She's like, well... There's a lot involved with that. And Cardi says, yeah, but it's not impossible, is it? She goes, no, it's not impossible. She goes, can't you reach out to the to the district attorney and see, you know, if he had any, you know, any, any leads or any suggestions or something, right, regarding the feds. So she goes, she goes, you and Robert Scorpio are friends. And uh, Diane was like, well, we're not like that. 
you know, close. And who comes walking into Kelly's but Robert? Remember Diane would rag him on his old car that he was always breaking down and he's trying to fix it. Then she went to the car show with Chris and he got jealous. So Robert came in telling Diane, I got a new car. And she goes, wait, you did what? The man that wants old, faithful, old, reliable, nothing new? He goes, yes, I did. And then he goes, would you like to take a little spin? <laughs> you know? And she turns and she's kind of smug. He goes, well, would Chris have a problem with that? She goes, would, would, would Chris have a problem with that? Something he said, would he have a problem with that? And so she says, first of all, Chris is a she. Okay. And no, she would not have a problem with that. And let me check my schedule. You know? So she goes, I just happen to be free. And I would love to take a spin in your new car. And he's, oh, he's happy. He's cats meowing it. Oh, yeah. You know, it's probably old man crisis car, right? A little, little Ferrari <laughs> that you can't even get in and out of at your age, right? Corvette. Come on, I'm in my 60s. I absolutely hate getting out of cars that are too low to the ground. Too hard to get out of. And in. So anyway, Carly's looking at the, the whole dynamics of the two. So as they're walking out the door, Diane, don't forget the I won't. <laughs> as she's walking by. She's like, she goes, I know what I'm doing. Or she said, on it. I'm like, Carly, don't say nothing else. That was that was too cute. That was too cute. Three years, I can't see Drew being in there for three years. Of course we can't. Something is, somehow it's, it's, his sentence is going to be reduced. We all know that. So that's it for General Hospital, General Hospital. Let's go to Comet Corner, Comet Corner. Uh, Linda says, I'm not fond of Nina right now. I hope Nina stops Gladys in her tracks regarding Sasha because if Nina doesn't Gladys will be pushing up daisies. Um, I think Gladys' days are numbered because Gladys has lots of enemies gunning for her. Sonny is going to be very angry when he learns the facts about Gladys and Sasha's bank account. P. Merrill says, kudos to BLQ for telling Grandma Tracy off. Why would she risk sending her granddaughter to jail? There was no other way. Sam will regret helping Cody. Yep, she sure will. That's going to backfire. We can see it. She should know better. Figure something else out. Sabrina says, hello, Daily Recap Lady. Regarding Lucy and deception, I think Tracy wants Lucy's ELQ stock or that one stock that she has. Uh, regarding Spencer, he needs a job. Maybe he can work at Kelly's, the gallery or internship at Chancellor Industries. Just get off the couch. <laughs> Regarding Trina, she needs to stay out of her parents' business and worry about her own business, mainly Spencer, before Esme does something that Trina won't can't come back from. Just my thoughts and theories. And then Monique says, Cody's plan may or may not work, but at least he's not sitting around waiting for someone to do something. He is willing to risk it all for Sasha. Yes, he is. He actually is. Everybody else is just, well, you know what? Ferncliff is a cool place. She's fine. And they know they all know what Ferncliff is like. But hey, nobody's insisting on seeing Sasha, not Sonny, not Nina. Come on now. Sonny had people on the inside there. What happened? He dropped the ball. So that's it, everybody. That is it for the daily recap. I think this is going to be a very slow week on General Hospital. But I'll be back tomorrow.